we, we need to go well beyond the services that are traditionally offered. Those are the base, but we need to continue to expand those services toward those top two levels of the advice value stack. And what I mean specifically is we need to be thinking about what's important to people beyond money. And that's one of the reasons we, we have this new brand, Managing Beyond Money, because we, for example, we've created our Curated by Colony platform. Yeah, you and I have let's talk about that. that. Yeah, th th let's share more about that. Yeah, so our Curated awesome. by yeah. Colony platform is this recognition achieved in part by actually asking our clients what was important to them by surveying our clients. Novel concept. And, <laughs> novel concept, right. Not, not, this is that kind of bias I'm talking about. People are biased toward doing what they've always done because it's easy for them to do it. But what about actually thinking beyond that and again, this concept of being open and curious and saying, maybe we could do things differently and gee, maybe our clients want us to do things differently. You know what we found, you know what our, our clients' number one concern was according to a survey that we conducted? It was actually cybersecurity. It wasn't really the S and P five hundred. It wasn't, you know, it was that was the number one thing people talked about. The security and, of their uh, personal data and exactly. And, and, and so, why are we not? Why would we not build out an offering? Now, we may not do this ourselves. I, you know, here's another cliche: this concept of being everything to everybody. I don't believe we can be everything to everybody. That is a cliche, by the way. Um, don't really love it either, because again, tell your client that your client will say, "Well, I expect you to be everything to, yeah. to, to me <laughs> anyway." But but, um, but I do understand that. So what, what we've done is we've partnered with others at different levels, from a basic service to a much more sophisticated concierge type service on the cybersecurity front. What about personal health? So what we've done is we've built out a platform that focuses on, on providing clients with, with services related to their health and related to uh, their, their physical state, their mental state, their emotional state, getting coaching, thinking about retirement and thinking about that next job, thinking about their, their, their children and their education, um, thinking about travel concierge. You know, now again, this past year, not so much travel going on, but, but you and I have talked about this. Travel is one of the greatest ways to learn. It's not just reading books. Traveling is an efficient and effective way to learn. It's also an effective way to experience joy in your lives. And we wanted to build out a travel concierge offering for our clients as well. So we've done that as well. Some of the basic stuff, concierge medicine services, we've come up with different concierge medicine services for, for different types of clients. Um, so, it, so what we've been doing is building a platform of non-traditional life enrichment services. We don't charge for it. It's but you don't just, charge for it. We do not charge for it because, okay. but see, this is what people talk about fee compression. Yeah. There is fee compression in our yeah. industry. But our clients, it's very rare for, for a client to, to, to complain about our, our fees. It's just that we have to provide more and more services to make to justify our, our, our fees. Yeah. So what you've always done in polishing the past, you can't just res, you no, know, you rest on those laurels. More. You're going to have to keep are doing make more. Make us do that, it's and not, we understand that. It's not. You're going to be lowering your fee. Maybe maybe that's the paradigm, right? We're lowering it, our margins by providing you're more. You're lowering services, your margin, but maybe right. the paradigm is if you don't add more value, you're going to have to lower your fees. <laughs> you will. Right. Oh, if you're an asset manager, you got fee compression. Yeah. So fee compression. If you are in the traditional asset manager kind right. of I'm providing holistic financial planning the same way I've been doing it for you know, 5, 10, 15, whatever the timeline is. You're going to have fee compression. We would agree on that. Yeah, right. you, you got to do more and more for your, for your clients. So, so just getting back to your original question, what you're going to see is advisors wake up to the fact that they have to do more. They cannot be limited. It, it, we as advisors are, are the trusted advisor often yeah. for, for our clients. And as the trusted advisor, as we like to say, another cliche, um, we are in a position to really help our clients hit those top two levels, that peace of mind and fulfillment. We have to understand that and we have to be on top of that because if we don't, someone else will. Amazon or Google or Apple, someone's going to come in and disrupt the industry. It's already happening yeah. and someone is going to do that if we don't. So I think we'll see a much broader service level. Um, we will see uh, more technology. Now, I want to be careful about technology. I know you're a technology guy, and I know you're doing phenomenal things. And you know, I share your vision on the technology side, this kind of holistic approach to technology as well. Um, and I'm a big fan of, of, of what you're doing. But I will say this 
technology is not evolution. Technology, you can, you can continue to deploy more and greater technology. You must. If you don't do that, you will be left behind and clients will once again demand it. So will advisors, by the way. But the problem with technology is it masks the underlying lack of evolution. And so we have to evolve the service model, but supported by much better and, and more comprehensive technology solutions.